Uh, the best way to describe it would probably be an existential comedy with adventure and romance. It's a, it's a fairy tale, it's a fable, it's, it's a myth about taking risks in your life. Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan are talking about their new film, Joe vs. the Volcano, written and directed by John Patrick Shanley. And I wanted to write a film that was about the journey of a guy from a harsh and ugly environment, a bad place for him to be, to a very beautiful place where he experienced physical deprivation and was exposed to the beauty of the heavens and how that reawakened his spiritual self and allowed him to complete his journey and find the courage in himself to live his own life. He is somebody that you can, you can identify with so easily and that's his journey and all these fantastic things happen to him and he's, he's the everyman, you know, he's the, he's the average Joe, supposedly. I think that uh, uh, Joe has has been scared like I have been scared in the past, and I think that that Joe has been down like I have been down in the past. But I think that Joe is 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 willing to uh, to experience the other people that he does in this movie, and I, I I must say that they have been that's been my saving grace as well. I've always thrown in with some decent decent blokes. Playing opposite this every man is an every woman. I play three characters who who pretty much parallel and mirror his his kind of spiritual journey. Really, they um, uh, I'm the karma woman he meets along the way. I'm the different women that he's kind of ready for at each particular time in, in his life. The first woman Meg plays is Dee Dee, and she's really modeled after one of my dogs, actually Lucille, who um, <laughs> who is very happy to have even a, a morsel of affection or or, or food. <laughs> I like Dee Dee. <laughs> I like Dee Dee a lot. I wanted to take Dee Dee home and treat her really well. Then she's Angelica. Angelica is sort of like the, a teenage sort of nightmare. Who is uh, the Los Angeles waif who has been who has given herself over to a lifestyle that has taken her soul away, and she cannot get it back, even no matter how much she tried. And finally, Patricia. She's a captain of her own ship. It's a great metaphor, really. She, of course, is. Is the is the real woman for Joe, and uh, uh, when when Joe comes across her, he is both he's mesmerized and and uh, uh, what's the word and and uh, uh, inspired all at the same time. I love you. I've fallen in love with you. I've never loved anybody. I don't know how it happened. I never even slept with him or anything. And now you're gonna kill yourself. Can you give us a minute? You love me? Yes, I love you. I can feel my heart. I feel like I'm going crazy. You just can't die and leave me here on the stinking earth without you. I've got to do it. Why? Why? The chief doesn't even want you to do it. Do you, chief? Because I have wasted my entire life, and I'm going to die. Now I have a chance to die like a man, and I'm going to take it. I've got to take it. I love you. I love you, too. I've never been in love with anybody before, either. It's great. I am glad. <laughs> but the timing stinks. I gotta go. Overseeing all these characters in this unusual tale is screenwriter Shanley, making his directorial debut. Hanks was impressed. John's ability to communicate is phenomenal, and not just with the actors, and, and uh, but also with the crew people, but with every different kind of actor. I mean, myself and Meg, we listen one way, but Lloyd Bridges and Abe Vigoda, they listen another way. But John's ability to, to get them to do their best work was, was, is, is very, very impressive, and that's his ability. With a title like Joe versus the Volcano, one is tempted to ask, who wins? It's the volcano. You can't stop a volcano. A volcano's a volcano. You can only go down and face it. Once you face it, then you're done. <laughs>